Despite it being Friday, it looks like Hasbro Pulse didn't want to do a Fan First Friday, and they gave us instead a brand new reveal of two of their Transformers, R.E.D., the Robotic Enhanced Design Transformers, via their Instagram account. And we got two that we knew already due to Walmart listings and all kinds of early leaks and stuff like that. But now we finally get some nice clear images of these two. And they're going to be hot sellers in that of Generation 1 Bumblebee and Generation 1 Starscream. Now let's jump into the Bumblebee first. It looks like all you really get with the Bumblebee is you get his trademark blaster, a blast accessory, and a Energon cube. It doesn't look like he has interchangeable hands, and if he does, maybe they're just open and closed fists just to hold the gun. But otherwise, it's essentially his Generation 1 design. This is going to be interesting because if they keep scale with each other, like, because these are supposed to be six-inch standard figures, so if they keep scale within each other, this is going to be a tiny kind of figure for the price point that these things go for of $19.99. So I'm surprised that they didn't pack more stuff with Bumblebee. Extra hands, extra accessories. Heck, in some cases in the past with the PVC line, an extra figure in that of a spike. So interesting choice that they went with. It's going to be bizarre to see people paying the full price for this guy. Unless, of course, he's just riding on his name value and Hasbro just figures that's good enough. But yeah, it's kind of a surprise. And speaking of the old PVC line back in the day, the SCF PVC line, let's talk about Coronation Starscream. So this is obviously G1 Starscream. It looks like he comes with two different head sculpts because he has one that's a smirking face and one that's a stoic face. I could be wrong on that one. Could be just the angles of the photos, but it looks like he has two different face sculpts. He, of course, also comes with two closed fists and then one open fist with a, hey, how you doing kind of hand. His two null rays, the two null ray uh, blast accessories, and of course, because the name says so, the coronation kit. So his two little shoulder pads, the crown, and the cape. Now, this is very reminiscent of the old back in the day 2002 2003 Coronation Starscream SCF PVC, which was approximately, I'd have to say, four to five inches tall. And it had a similar kind of rollout of stuff. It was the Generation 1 Starscream toy, but it also had Starscream with the crown, the cape accessories, and in this case, at least two additional hands of open hands and closed hands. So two sets as opposed to this one that has like just two closed fists and the extra one fist. Again, based on the images we have here right now. Absent from that one that this one unfortunately does not have was it also came with the original also came with a Megatron and gun mode for Starscream to hold. Maybe this one comes with that too. Maybe not. Maybe they're uh, holding out for a different release of Starscream. This is called Coronation Starscream. Maybe they'll do another generation one Starscream, do it in metallic colors, give it the Megatron and gun hand and they can make another sale. Would not surprise me. This Seeker Jet mold is going to get repainted like crazy so it doesn't make a difference actually now that i think about it they don't even have to do a metallic starscream they can do a sky warp and include starscream's hand with it as a extra incentive to buy sky warp and then because you have sky warp and now you have starscream well you gotta get thundercracker now even if you didn't want to buy sky warp because now you might as well just complete the trio there's some evil dealings that could be done here to make the sales because they don't have a build a figure to justify people buying an entire wave of stuff but these are the two new reveals we don't have release dates yet so far as it stands we have that first wave that's trickling out out there it's being shown seen in a lot of walmarts it's been hit or miss in terms of people enjoying it uh the second wave which is going to be rc and cheetor is going to be hitting sometime next year around the time when kingdom's also going to be hitting rc obviously being the prime design cheetor a, a stylized version of his Beast Wars design. Then, of course, we also have the rumored knockout from Transformers Prime, the redeco of Optimus Prime, probably going to be a battle damaged version, and a redeco of Megatron. And now we got these ones here also mentioned. So we got the Bumblebee and the Starscream. These are probably going to be, judging by the way that the reveals have been and what we've actually seen as opposed to what's been rumored, let's call this Starscream and the Bumblebee here Wave 3. This is going to come out probably after the RC 
and the Cheetor. So interesting stuff. We also have an Optimus Primal that was announced too at some point, but it doesn't really have a place right now in all of this, probably much later in the lifespan of this. Um, let's see how this does. I, I, I personally am, I understand its market. I understand what this is marketed at. Heck, we just talked about Funko Pops just before. This is more of that market. Obviously, you're going to pick up your favorite characters, but this is something that's not really aimed at the hardcore Transformer collector that's looking for, you know, good transformable product. This is like, oh, I want to have a nice little, you know, Bumblebee on my desk or something at work or a nice G1 Starscream. This is going to aim more at those six inch collectors, the casual collectors of Transformers, the guys who already collect, you know, Star Wars Black Series or Marvel Legends and just want to have a G1 Prime, want to have a G1 Starscream or a Soundwave on their desk to have displayed and they don't want to have to deal with the intricacy of transformation and stuff like that. It's for some people, they just don't want to have to deal with something that transforms as crazy as that sounds. So I understand where this market works. The question is, how long is this going to last? Is, is this going to have legs and do very well? I'm reminded of the robot replica line that made its debut with the 2007 movie, which gave us, we had transformable toys, and then we had non-transformable movie toys within the robot replica line, which pretty much was budget Revoltech transformers in the Western market. And that lasted for a couple of waves, and then they tried it again with Revenge of the Fallen, and that lasted for a couple of waves, and then they discontinued it because people weren't interested in that. And that was during peak popularity of the Transformer movies during 2009. So if it didn't really find its market after a couple of waves then, I'm really curious how Generation 1 is going to find its market now with these people. I know when I go to Walmart, I still see plenty of these of Wave 1. It's not exactly flying off the shelf like Earthrise or even that of let's say some of the studio series stuff so but mine is is more a microscopic example it's not an example of everything but when i do frequent my walmarts it does seem to be not really a popular product maybe it's different for me what let me know what you think is 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 it popular in your local area that's what i'm curious more than anything else is this stuff really flying off the shelves or is it also kind of shelf warming a little bit in wave one initially so this is going to be a test for Hasbro. It's them going into the six inch game to kind of add to their already repertoire of the Star Wars Black Series, the Marvel Legends and everything else. So let's see what happens with this. But again, hey, we got Starscream. We got Bumblebee. Let's see what's going to be next outside of the rumors.